All right, so one last thing I want to go over here for, um, I'm sorry, there's a couple of things I want to go over. Let's go ahead and go back to vertice mode. Let me select this, this uh, vertice here, and let's grab that on the z-axis. Notice how the other three, how the other, uh, I believe it would be eight vertices don't move. It's just, what, it, this goes up, but none of these are affected. Well, sometimes you want the other ones to be affected a little bit because you don't want just, you know, grab Z and then have a sharp point here. You want more of a rounded edge or more of a, um, more effect on the other vertices around it. One neat tool you have here in the, in the edit mode is this proportional editing. It's right down here. And it's actually, I believe the shortcut key is the O key to turn that on. And you can turn it on and off with the O key. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And if you notice, there's a new menu right here beside it that you can click on. And there's some random constants, some different ones. Your smooth is your um, smooth is your default setting. Smooth fall off. Okay, now this time let's grab. And once we hit the G key, we can see that there's a a line that comes around that can be manipulated by scrolling up and down your mouse wheel. A circle that appears around it. So let's go ahead and constrain to the Z key again. Now let's move up. Notice how the other ones move based on the strength of your... Now I can move this down to zero and none of them are... I mean down to a small size and it's just like the other one. None of them are affected. But as I scroll this wheel up and make it stronger, other vertices are affected. So you can see how this would be very powerful in getting a a nice shape, you know, and basically you make it so big that everything just is affected. But that scrolling your wheel up and down the size of the circle is how much other vertices not hooked to that one are affected. So yeah, you can do some neat stuff here. Um, another thing you can do, another neat one you might want if you want maybe a random. So if I grab that, notice how I can get a, depending on Nothing's really, the stronger it is, the more random it is. So I can get some strange shapes with this. But you can play around with these and just figure out which one fits best in your, in, in your needs, fits your needs the most. 